What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy JP coming to y'all with another how to. And today we are going to be talking about relays. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, please consider subscribing because this is what we do here car audio tutorials, radio removals, QAs, all that type of stuff. And if you're into that type of thing, then you want to go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So the number one question that I've been getting is how many accessories can we tie in to one single ignition uh, circuit? And the answer is not a lot. You really don't want to overdo it when it comes to that because you don't want to keep popping fuses or messing up any type of components or whatever. So you guys know that this is a fuse and it has a, a, a number amperage rating on the top of it. So this right here is 10 amps. Uh, depending on what type of car you have, most of your vehicle's ignition, that the ignition source that goes to your radio is like 10 amps amps 15 uh, the highest that I've seen it has been like 20 but at the same time if you have 10 amps on your ignition circuit and you hook up a CD player that's pulling 10 amps and then you have a backup camera that's one or two amps and you have a dash cam you have a front and rear cam and all that type of stuff if you have that running off of one ignition circuit as soon as you cut the car on it's gonna try but uh, once all that current is coming off this it's gonna end up popping this fuse and you don't want to damage anything and and that's the reason why you don't want to hook up too many accessories just to one uh, circuit. So uh, a lot of people ask, well, how much, how do I know when it's, when it's too much? Well, one thing I would do is go to your car and figure out what ignition circuit that you're trying to tap into and find out the amp rating. If it's 10 or 15 or 20, then you know you don't need to exceed that. So now I have hooked up a backup camera and a double den on the same ignition source and been okay because your backup camera typically is only going to draw like one amp. So it's usually fine, especially if we're not going to overdrive our uh, head unit. But for the most part, if you guys want to use your ignition to wire up multiple things, then we need this thing right here. This is a relay. It's a SPDT, so a single pole, double throw. Um, basically, this is just a big switch. It only needs 150 milliamps to actually turn on, but you can hook up 30 amps worth of uh, accessories to this. So you think about how many two amp cameras that you can hook up or fans or uh, multiple amps, uh, amplifiers or lights, RGB lights. So either way, we're going to get into what this is, how to wire stuff up, and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so this relay has five prongs on them, and they are numbered. So we have 85, 86, 87, 87A, and 30. So 85 and 86, these are the coil terminals. Basically, we're going to put power and ground to these two terminals, and that's what's going to turn our relay on. I usually put 85 to ground and 86 to uh, power but you can reverse these. You can put 86 to ground and 85 to power. As long as it's not the exact same voltage on both of those term terminals, it is going to cut itself on. 30 is our output terminal. So whatever we're trying to turn on, we're going to hook that up to 30. Now, you have this 87 and 87A. 30 and 87A are always touching. We call this normally closed. 87 is not touching anything, and we call that normally open. What we want to do is make that 30 touch that 87, and whatever voltage is on 87, that's what's going to output on 30. So when we actually turn this relay on, you're gonna hear a click. When you hear that click, they're gonna create a magnetic field that's gonna take this switch, uh, and it's gonna go from 87 and click, and um, 87A, and click and go to 87. So if we want to turn on this CD player, for instance, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 85 to ground, 86 to our lurk, low current ignition, we're gonna put 12 volt constant to 87, and we're gonna hook up whatever we want to turn on to 30. All right guys, so this is what we have here. We have our radio. Now this radio is gonna be what we are trying to turn on, but if you, it can be anything you want. Let's say we have a whole bunch of LEDs that we wanna turn on in the car. Let's say we have an amplifier, uh, like four or five amps that we wanna turn on inside the car. Let's say we got a whole bunch of fans, which we have a fan. That's what this is going to represent. So right here, like you, like you can see, this is our 85 and we have our ground on 85. Uh, our output, which is 30, we have that wire hooked up to our CD player. And of course, if you're inside the car, you wouldn't have both of these hooked up together, but we're going off this 12 volt battery. So you just kind of got to bear with me. But uh, the 30 is the output going to what we want to turn on. 
we have ground coming from our power source going to 85 we have 12 volt constant now i did have to jump these together because like i said this is my only source but 12 volt constant going on 87 and uh this one is where we're going to hook up our low current ignition now when i put this together i want you guys to listen You see that when we put power on it, it's going to ignite our switch. Now we're not using 87A, which is the one that's in the middle because we are trying to amplify something. So we don't need that terminal, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. It clicked. So now we're just gonna wait for our CD player to turn on. Boom, and there it is. And that's how we would go from a low current ignition to a high current ignition and hook up multiple things. Now. Okay, um, if you had a whole bunch of amps that you wanted to cool down, I mean a whole bunch of fans that you want to cool down your amplifiers and turn on your amps, you can do this exact same way. And this is one of many ways that you can hook this up. The only thing that I'm going to show you um, also is how to wire up a switch to your relay. So basically we would just be using this switch to turn on our relay, which in sense will turn on all of our stuff. So I know what you're thinking, why not just use this switch um, to turn on all my different accessories? Well, just like your, this, is, this doesn't have that much amperage. If you try to turn on like five amps and LEDs with this little bitty switch, you're gonna burn it up. But it does have enough amperage to turn on your relay and then let your relay do all the other work. So basically all we want to do in this scenario is interrupt the power uh, from this because this is just a two prong switch. It's just on and off. So we just wanna hook the power up to both sides. Let me just go ahead and hook it up. All right guys, so we have our relay hooked up the exact same way, but what we did is we interrupted our power so coming from our battery we took the 12 volt and you can use this on the ground if you want to but i usually do it with the 12 volt um but this thing is only a two prong uh switch and now that we've interrupted the power going into the relay when i press that button you should still hear the uh relay come on All right. All right. So it's turned on our switch, and now that we've turned that, oh, that our switch has turned on our relay, and now our relay has sent that voltage right here to our CD player. Now, if you can get any type of switch you want, some people like to have switches with lights on them, and they're pretty much the exact same thing, except you would have a third prong, and that prong will probably be gold. That one needs to go to ground. If you put that one to ground and still interrupt the power, when you ignite your uh, switch, the light will turn on. All right, so one thing that I wanted to let you guys know that uh, I've already said it before, but this relay only outputs 30 amps. So if you have more than 30 amps worth of accessories that you're trying to install, then guess what? You need two relays, but it's simple because you're gonna hook this up the exact same way. 12 volts is gonna go to your 87. Ground is gonna go to your 85. 30 is gonna go to whatever you're trying to turn on, but what you would do is the 30 that's coming off of this relay, you're gonna get a jumper wire and bring that over to the 86. Cause like I said, once the 85 has ground on it and the 86 has power, then it's gonna, uh, that magnetic field creates and it's gonna be able to output 30 more amps worth of current towards whatever accessories that you got. So uh, one thing that I would do is, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you got, let's say you got some amplifiers being turned on by this relay. I will use a jumper, go over to 86, so when this cuts on, it's going to output and cut this one on, and then you can have your other amplifiers coming off that. Or anything, your lights, your LEDs, all that type of stuff. Either way, that's how you would use that in that scenario to amplify your low current ignition and use hook up all the accessories that you guys want to safely you also can fuse it um of course i would definitely advise you guys to fuse all of your uh everything that needs to be powered other than that i hope you guys found some type of value in this video don't forget to like share comment all that good stuff also we have reached 6,000 subscribers and this is the i decided to give away this radio right here this is the Kenwood KMM B2 BT32 8U. Uh, it's a digital media streamer. 
That's why it's not full because nobody listens to CDs anymore. But it does have Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, HD radio. It has Alexa built in, all that type of stuff. And we're going to give this away. I don't know exactly what type of contest I'm going to do to give it away just yet. But I am going to give away one of these CD players to one of you guys because every car can at least take a single den. That I know of. Uh, a lot of times, double dens may be too iffy depending on what type of car you have. Now, if you can't fit this double den, you got a CD player to do something with. But uh, I'm gonna give this way. I'm gonna give this away because I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me and supporting the channel. So until next time, I'll holla at y'all later.